All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for a little bit different content today. I'm going to be unboxing this Super Rigs that I got from Walmart, my local Walmart. I uh, asked my wife to pick this up for me because I thought it was cool. finish open it here so I don't cut myself or my new desk which I have a habit of doing me not the desk and ah! there we go let's go get these couple corners here So we're going to pop this open, try to do it on camera. So first off, I hate to even unbox this, right? Because not that I care about it that much or you know, I'm that kind of collector. Wow, that's really stuck on me. Um, I just like looking at them. So here's the, here's the package, all nice and form fitting. And a lot of guys worry about the corners and stuff. I'm not worried about that. But I love the card art. You got Trash Bashers. Nah. You got Trash Basher. Hot Wheels Super Rigs. You got a nice drawing of it there. Nice rendering. And if we look on the back, you can see the truck. It's turned to the side. It's got the little truck to the side. But then we see that it has a separate action. Special feature, moving parts. And if you want to get even closer in here, this will show the rest of them from the series. From left to right, we have the Rat Rig, which is a crazy, crazy version of the Rat Rod. If you guys are into that, you know some Hot Wheels guys go crazy for the um, bone, bone crusher, bone shaker, bone shaker. Yeah, I'm stupid. So I know some guys go crazy for the bone shaker. There's a version of that. Sky show rig, not that big a deal. I guess if your kid's into planes, that's cool. I think I have the red planet transport. I'm not sure. I like that one's futuristic. The, let me see if I can get this right. The halter, halteration. Okay. That is actually really cool. The, let me see if I can get close and if it'll focus. If you can see the actual Hot Wheel there, it's that guy that can stand up. He looks like a real guy, but I'm pretty sure the whole rig works th together to make a, a stand up guy, which is amazing. Tuned up, the trailer just like opens up for that guy. It's interesting, I guess, but I really like this trash badger. That's why I got it. Anyway, moving on to the actual Hot Wheel, okay? So I know I have this kind of top down. I'll take this out. Another piece of plastic. And I guess, you know, your, your cute little tiny Hot Wheels waste management. Waste management. I really like this truck. I think this truck's pretty sick. It's like a little hot rod garbage truck. And it kind of looks like, I guess it's like a one, one piece design with the, whatever's gray or silver here. It also shows like the compactor in there too, which is, which is nice. I like that. Oh, and it's got an intercooler up front. I did not notice that when it was in the package. So I'll lay that back down. Actually, let's put it in there. So I'm trying to see here what the action is. It looks like looks like maybe you start in this direction. Oh no, it is this way. Okay. Oh, all right. So looking at it from this side, I guess. I guess you're running along in Hot Wheels fantasy world and you run your truck up on here 
And then this thing just, hold on, you grab this here and you just, that's not really working, hold on. There we go. So I didn't do it in a grand fashion or manner, but I guess this truck is supposed to come by and pick up all of the little hot rod trucks running around. And as you can see, let me take this off. What you do is you just pop it off. It has a ball hitch there. Let's take a look at this one. So we have like a little single day cab. What do we have on the, we have some nice chrome, little cow catcher kind of thing up front. We've got molded in mirrors, a molded in aero package up top. We have, I don't really know what these are. Let's say that that's like a headache rack kind of thing to keep debris from hitting the driver. There's a lot of glass right there, but out back instead of under the cab instead of it being a cab over it's a cab forward design where you have what looks to be a v8 with a whole bunch of zoomies so by itself this truck here is actually awesome i love it look it's so heavy that's crazy you can't even use it by itself i don't know if you guys can see that but the truck You can't use it like this, which is, it's, I was going to say it was cool up until that point, but it's so heavy. All this is metal and this is plastic, but let's look at the trailer individually here. We have, I'm not sure what that is. So we have a metal base. Um... Yeah, that's plastic because I can see that it's a it's a heavy kind of plastic. But all this green stuff is plastic. And here's your action. You have you have this. It comes over, but then it also does that. And that allows the vehicle to get on, and then dump in. Which I really appreciate the mechanics of it all too. And for I think a eight dollar price point. You know, I love the art. I love how it's like kind of useful, kind of um, realistic, let's say. But let's snap this back in here. But I haven't been collecting recently because um, even before COVID and all that crazy stuff happened, um, it was just so hard to find stuff in the store without, you know, somebody else getting to it first or getting to it before you or you know whatever but i just hate i really hate all that the scalpers and just the whole thing so i've really tried to just kind of stay away it won't stay on its side that's weird um just kind of stay away from the whole thing you know i've been seeing some uh for the longest time we didn't see any hot wheels at all anywhere but um i've been trying to stay away from it and not buy as much as I used to, but I just had to get this one. I thought it was neat. Like I said, I really didn't get it. My wife got it for me. Um, she says it was for Easter. I was like, get this for me for Father's Day. It's something cool. But I want to bring you guys some diecast content. I'm going to start and do that. And this was a new pickup, kind of trying to, um, you know, make videos and, um, showcase my love for diecast the one i've already collected so i hope you guys enjoyed i will bring you something really cool in the future a lot of things that are that are really cool rare um some of my most prized possessions are diecast related so this is not indicative of what these type of videos are going to be about you know if i get something cool something new you know maybe i'll pop it open, show you guys what I think of it and how it works and whatever. But yeah, hopefully we can do some very interesting stuff. So stay tuned. Like this video if you like that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the channel. 
I also post daily Forza Horizon 5 videos with daily challenges and festival playlist stuff. So if you like cars, you're going to like this channel. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.